For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho oh, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Ooh. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh, we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now, who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Da da dum, do da di da, da da la la, da dum di da, da la la di da da. Nanny Plum, Nanny Plum. Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn more about nature, Nanny. Yes. But I didn't expect it to be in my kitchen. Ahem. <laughs> Today's lesson is about... Thank you, Strawberry. Today's lesson is about some important fairy rules. Ooh! Rule one, fairies must look nice, hair lovely, clothes stylish, skin beautifully clean. <laughs> Elves and ladybirds, of course, need not worry about such things. Rule two, fairies should never, ever be without their wands. Who knows why? Without wands, fairies can't do magic tricks. Yes, Ben. We need wands to do magic. A fairy without her wand is like a... like a ladybird without her spots. <coughs> Nanny, Gaston's a boy ladybird. Whatever. The important thing is, fairies must look after their wands. Yes, yes Nanny Plum. Rule three. If it's windy, like today, fairies should be careful about flying. As long as I fly low, I'll be fine. But on a day like today, no one should fly above the castle walls. It's very windy up here. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. So, what have we learned? Fairies should always look nice. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Fairies mustn't fly in strong winds. Very good. You see? Even I find it difficult when the wind is so... <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum's gone. Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind. And a fairy without a wand is like a ladybird without his spots. Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan. We find Nanny, we rescue her, then we give Nanny her wand. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. Doing things 
without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> No, wise old elf, not me. Uh, uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> hmm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, good day, Nanny Plum. Can we join you? Yes, as long as you are quiet. Righty-o. Hmm. Now, uh, who can tell me how we know a watch is working? We can hear it ticking. Oh, yes, Holly. Very good. You see, we fairies know all about time. But you fairies don't have watches or clocks. We have our own ways of telling the time. Hmm. I'm sure you do. Now... How do we know when to wake up in the morning? The alarm clock rings. Correct. I wake up when the cockerel cries. cock a doo doo day. Yes, I see. And how do we know when it's time to go to sleep? When the clock says it's bedtime. Yes. Correct again. I go to sleep when the owl hoots. Twitter woo! <laughs> <laughs> but without clocks, how do you know what time it is? We have dandelion clocks. Look. <gasps> One. <laughs> Can I have a go? <gasps> Two. And me. <gasps> three. That means three o'clock. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. That's all fairy nonsense. <laughs> but it's fun. Fun has nothing to do with telling the time. I don't suppose you fairies can tell me what time it is now? It's noon. Ah, yes, Holly. Well done. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! It's huge! There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Yes. <clears throat> Do you know where the stars go in the daytime? Uh, yes. The answer is in the astrophysics section, second row, reference 520.34. 
This way. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. Oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. Oh. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny. The tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Just remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. That's much better. Yes, it's charming. But I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> Today, we are having nature class. Follow me. Excuse me, wise old elf. Why do we have to do nature class? Because, Ben, it's important that every young elf learns about nature. <sighs> Who can tell me what this is? Um, uh, uh, is it a sort of plant? A wilted thistle is the correct answer. Oh. Now, what's the name of this flower? Oh, we seem to have walked into some elves. Good day, Nanny Plum. Hello, wise old elf. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. We're doing nature class. So are we. Let's team up. Yes! <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Quite so. Elf and fairy nature classes are very, very different. We're learning names of plants and things. So are we. Please, Nanny Plum, can we have one big class? Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf, there's no need for you to hang around. But, 
but you can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or Harry Bogweed. You both know the silly plant names. So you should both take the class. Hmm, on one condition. No magic. I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So it's agreed. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> just said hocus pocus plinkety plonk oh yes ahem <clears throat> hocus pocus plinkety nanny plum oh bother what can he want now nanny i want a cup of tea yes yes coming <sighs> this card will never get made I'll just have to do the magic myself. Now, what was Nanny's spell? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Hocus Pocus Plinkety Plonk. Uh, how about... Make me a birthday card super duper quick. <laughs> Hurry up! I haven't got all day. Right! You naughty paintbrushes! I'll do a stronger spell to make you go faster. Sam! Pop! Zip! Pow! More! Bigger! Faster! Now! <laughs> There's your tea, Your Majesty. Will that be all? Yes, thank you. Nanny! Help! Help! Goodness me! Oh, it's a wondrous place. <laughs> I've never heard of it. The Great Elf Tower gives us all the things we need to make toys. How does it do that? When big people have picnics in the Little Kingdom, they put plastic bottles, tin cans and old papers into the Great Elf Tower. We're here! Behold! The Great Elf Tower! Where? All I can see is a litter bin. What? Big people and fairies might call it a litter bin, but to us, it is the Great Elf Tower. Why are you wearing those funny clothes? They're not funny. These are safety clothes. The Great Elf Tower can be very dangerous. And very smelly. Here goes. You're uh, almost there! Uh, uh. Have you found lots of things for making toys? Uh, not yet. It's a bit dark. I'll go down and take a closer look. Oh, dear. I think the Great Elf Tower is empty. Oh. Oh. Mummy, Daddy, can I have some more jelly, please? <laughs> <laughs> this is Dad, I can hear oh, big people. Sandwiches. We must stay out of their way. Big people have very big feet. Come on, Rex. That was a lovely picnic. Let's tidy up. OK, Dad. I'll take the litter to the bin. Thank you, Lucy. Come on, Rex. Rump, rump. That's the rump, sound of big rump. people. Quick, get 
get out of the bin. Huh? What was that? I said, get out of the bin. It's not a bin. It's the Great Elf Tower. Wow. This way, Princess Holly. Please feel free to ask any questions. <laughs> OK. Hello. What do you do? I pull this lever, Princess. What else do you do? I pull this lever and the gloop comes out. Don't you get bored? Elves never get bored. And I'm an elf. Thank you. Now, moving on. That's the moulding machine. Ooh. And what do you do? I press this button. All day? Yes, all day. You must be very patient. Elves are very patient. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What fun! Hello, everybody! Hello, Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No! We do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work. And we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny. Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. Lucy, we want to see where the milk comes from. We want to see cows. Can you show us, please? Yes. Follow me. These are the chickens. Yes, we know. And we know what chickens give us, don't we, children? Eggs! Yes, Jake. Hello, chickens. Some fairies and elves have come to see you. Of course, chickens are quite stupid creatures because they are so big. But I'm big and I'm not stupid. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, sorry, Lucy. These are the sheep. Ah, yes. And who can tell me what sheep give us? Eggs! No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said... Bah. But what does bah mean? Bah means... Bah. Uh, <clears throat> Sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. Wow! <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh! A cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? The rocket will land here in the Sea of Tranquility. Oh, the seaside. We can make sand 
castles. We can have a picnic on the beach. And you can go paddling in the sea. There is no water on the moon. But what is the sea made from? Just rock. A sea of rock? What's the point of that? Listen, everyone. This is a very serious mission. There'll be no swimming or picnics. Here is the main cabin. The cabin is a bit tiny. I might stay down below in the kitchen. The kitchen? There isn't a kitchen. No kitchen? What's all this big space for, then? This space is for the fuel, Nanny Palum. I have worked out exactly how much fuel we need to get you to the moon. Where's the toilet, then? There isn't one. You'll just have to go before you leave. No toilet? But if we're having a picnic at the seaside, we'll need... Nanny Palum, it's not a picnic at the seaside. It's a very serious mission. We are going to the moon. Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check! Engines ready? Engines are go! Computers ready? Computers online! Fuel system ready? Fuel systems A OK! Start the countdown! I want to wish you all the best of luck. You are going where no elf has gone before. Or fairy. Or fairy. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go. Just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew, for a moment I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 uh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm, maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> Into birds. Zabbity zoo. And into rabbits. Abracazabity. <laughs> there. All finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. <laughs> Do I? Oh, OK then. Abracazobadizabadizee! Well done, Ben. Did you two follow that? Uh, yes, Nanny. I think so. Good. Anyone else want to try? Yes, please. Can I have a go? No! no. How about a game of football? Yes. yes! Football! And the rules say no magic. OK. Yes, I think we've had quite enough magic for one day. <laughs> there are no words in the book. I am a magical cookery book. Where are all your recipes? Oh, if you tell me what you want to cook, I will tell you how to cook it. We want to cook a special modern meal, please. How modern? Uh, very modern. Certainly. You will need the following ingredients. Potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! 
This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the elf library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very delicate dish. <sighs> okay, what do I do? You'll need binoculars, a bird spotter's bag, and, of course, a book. Welcome to the world of bird spotting. Look for birds, then tick them off in this book. All right, I'll give it a go. Oh, a bird! What sort of bird is it, Daddy? Um... It's a robin! Yes, a robin! And I spotted it! This is rather fun. Oh, there's another bird. What does it look like? Um, it's got a long, pointy beak. Oh, it's a woodpecker. A very special bird. Can I have a look, Daddy? Yes, Holly. Oh, the woodpecker's landed on the great elf tree. Orange juice, Ben? Yes, please, Mum. It's an earthquake! It's, it's an, an earthquake. earthquake! It's an earthquake! It's not an earthquake! Phew! It's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree! It's made a hole! It's got inside! Oh, it's not in my flat! You! It's not in my flat! Uh, our door's stuck! Here, son, let me try! I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your lives! Ah! Hello, Ben! Holly, we've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. Squirrels won't let anyone move their acorns. Watch. Oh, what are you going to do now? Now we're going to move the acorns out of the tree. But you said you couldn't move. The acorns. We can't, but we can trick the squirrels into moving the acorns for us. How? Wait here, you'll see. Oh, it's very clever. Is it really clever? No, it's stupid. But funny. Ta da! Here we are. Squeak! Uh, why is the wise old elf dressed as a squirrel? Because squirrels copy other squirrels. Now, if I move an acorn, all the other squirrels will copy me and move their acorns too. 
But don't the squirrels need to store their acorns for the winter? Ha <laughs> ha, yes. That's why I'll lead them to the dry hollow log on the top of the big hill. Your costume looks very heavy. Uh, yes, but it's perfectly balanced by the tail. Ready for checks? Ready! Tail. Check. Acorn. Check. Squirrels watching? Check. Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> <sighs> Squeak! Ah, ah, ah. Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh, oh, oh. Squeak! Wise old elf! The squirrels are coming! Uh, uh, squeak! Squeak! Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, oh, good. I will also be needing a windmill. What? A working windmill is a very difficult thing to build. Oh, it mustn't actually work. No, just pretend, but with sails that go round. Oh, all right. Sandwiches, tea, deck chair and fishing rod. Most kind. What's that noise? Wise old elf, what are you doing? We're building a pretend windmill for the gnome. A pretend windmill? Yes. It mustn't actually work. It's just silly. But it looks fun. Can Holly and I help you? Oh, yes, please. Now we can fix the sails. Finished! Oh! Ah! Is it dinner time already? Not really. Could you get me a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles, please? Oh, and some plastic flowers. You're going to eat plastic flowers? No, that would be silly. They go with the windmill. Ah, good work, wise old elf. Thank you. Goodbye. Finally, I will need a little bridge. What? A plastic well and a little picket fence. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? These are the tomato plants. Wow! I'm afraid we have tomato bugs. Oh, dear. Tomato bugs like to eat the tomato plants. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, they keep coming back. Yes, if only we could find a way to get rid of them. <laughs> Gaston scared them away. Of course. Ladybirds like to eat tomato bugs. Clever, Gaston. You should be our chief pest controller. <laughs> <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Right o. Tomato. <laughs> that looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job. That's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? 
collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. <coughs> wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, <laughs> Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's... I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. There it is. It's stuck. One, two, three, four. Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I love getting letters. But the children always want a reply. Now we'll have to come back again. Can I read it? Dear Tooth Fairy, what is it like to live in Fairyland? Fairyland. That makes it sound like some silly make-believe place. Did she ask about elves? Um, no, Ben. Maybe there wasn't enough room on the paper. But she does say, love from Lucy. That's a lovely name. Shush. Remember, Princess Holly, we mustn't wake her. Nanny, what happens to the tooth now? We give it to the elves. They take care of the rest. This way. Hopefully, there'll be no one there. Then we can just leave our tooth and go. Good evening. Can I help you? Oh, hello. Tooth delivery. Have you filled in your tooth report? Yes. There appear to be some details missing. Where was the tooth found? Ugh, under the pillow. Under the pillow. Dear me, you haven't even put the little girl's name. We know that. Her name is Lucy. Lucy. And she's written us a letter. Ah, a letter. There'll have to be a reply before morning. Oh. Write it. Dear Lucy, um, it's very nice in the little kingdom. Annie, what other things do we need? Let's see. A dewdrop from a spider's web. Ooh. The slime from a slug. Ooh. And a dro de grenouille. What's, What's that? that? Frog burp. Ugh. You'll never get Daddy to drink that. <laughs> oh, no. It would be most unfortunate if anyone were to drink this. This is a potion for rubbing on his feet. Ooh! Right. First, we need a dewdrop on a spider's web. Look, a dewdrop. Stop, Holly! It's not a good idea to fly around Madam Spider. Why, Nanny? The flutter of our fairy wings is like a fly. And she likes to eat flies. Eat flies? Oh! Shh! Yes. That's just what spiders do. You like to eat ice cream. Spiders like to eat flies. They have very smelly breath. Uh, excuse me, Madam Spider. Could we possibly collect a dewdrop from your lovely web here? It is to make some medicine for the king. <laughs> Madam Spider says yes. I'll get the dewdrop, Nanny. Elves are very good at climbing, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Good. Now we need the slime from a slug. 
Look, a slug! Holly, perhaps you could do the asking this time. You might have to shout a little, though, because slugs cannot hear very well. Why is that, Nanny? Because they have no ears. The wood for my wand comes from a plum tree because I am Nanny Plum. The wood for your wand, Holly, should come from a... Holly tree! Exactly. So, Strawberry, what tree does your wand come from? Um, it must come from a strawberry tree. Oh. Let's see how that feels. It's a bit big. It just needs a little trim. This stage of wand repair is a mixture of woodwork and gardening. Is my wand mended now? I'm not yet, Princess Holly. We need to mend the head. Follow me. This is the clockwork room. Spinny Ickle Poo Clamp, please. Spinny Ickle Poo Clamp. Wooble Cone. Wooble Cone. It all looks very complicated. Bending a wand head is a mixture of surgery and watchmaking. Ah! The Fidge Fudge Rotter Whistle Stick. Whistle Stick. <laughs> Interesting. That doesn't sound right. Very good. Hooray! Can we go home now? Not yet, Nanny Plum. Holly's wand needs testing. To the testing room. The wand testing room. It is the safest place to do magic in the kingdom. Why do you need a special room to do magic? We don't want the magic leaking out and causing trouble. Where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. <gasps> what a lovely morning for a bit of wand practice. But Nanny Plum, I was going to play with Ben. Princess Holly, there's a time for playing with elves and a time for wand practice. Please, Nanny. I promise to practice later. Mm, very well, but come in when I... Thanks, Nanny. Bye. Oh, where's Ben? Ben! Oh, well. I suppose I could do some wand practice while I wait. Now, Wand, what shall we do today? Yes, let's make a pretty hat. Abracazat, a pretty hat. Oh, it's not very pretty. And it's too big. Bye-bye, silly hat. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. I'm practising my magic. Do you want to see? Uh, OK. Stand very still. I'll make you a new hat. Abracazat, magic Ben a hat. Oh. <coughs> ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. Big Bad Barry to open his mouth, we could just say aloud. Oh, very clever, Ben. Only, how do we get him to open his mouth? Hmm, 
Maybe it's time to ask for a bit of advice. Can someone answer their phone? It's not my phone. It's not mine either. Oh, it's mine. Hello? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What's that? They've got good news and bad news. What's the good news? They've found the treasure. Hooray! And what's the bad news? They've been swallowed by a giant fish. What? Are they OK? Uh, I'll ask. Is my submarine all right? It's not scratched, is it? Listen, Clever Clogs. We need your help. How can we get Big Bad Barry to open his mouth? Someone needs to talk to the fish. Nanny Plum can speak fish. Ah, Nanny Plum, you must tell the fish a joke and make him laugh. That's an idea. A very stupid idea, but an idea. What's the plan? I'm going to tell Big Bad Barry a joke to make him laugh. What? Utter nonsense. It was the wise old elf's idea. It's brilliant. Everyone back in the sub, get ready to sail! Hmm. What's a good fish joke? I know. <coughs> Did it work? I don't know. He might not get it. <coughs> <laughs> Something's happening! I think he likes the joke! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> what do they do? They're beautiful! Please don't touch them! We don't want them to get sticky! Children always have sticky hands. No, we don't. Yes, you do. Do you think the pebbles look beautiful, King Thistle? What? Oh, yes. Very, uh, pebbly. This way. Ugh! Green fly. <laughs> mm. Good boy, Gaston. He won't be needing dinner now. Oh, I see you found our pet greenfly. Lucinda, Gucci, and Timmy. Oh, but where is Timmy? Ah. Timmy! 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 Hmm, perhaps he's gone for a walk. Timmy! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <coughs> ah, Timmy. <laughs> Playing hide and seek, were we? <laughs> now you may find the next room a little chilly. <laughs> it's freezing in here. Yes, this room must be kept well below freezing temperature at all times. All these lovely things are made of ice. They look very beautiful, Queen Marigold. Yes, they're, uh, cool. Please don't touch. Are they made with magic? Oh, no. That would be too easy. They're made from ice that froze over a thousand years ago. Ooh. And hand-carved by Norwegian mining pixies. These sculptures are one of a kind and simply irreplaceable. Ooh, a swan, that's nice. I like swans. Oh, dear. Nanny, what have you done? You've broken the swan's head off. It's all right. I'll magic another one. Abracadabra, make me a bird. Ice thingy. Nanny! Time to play Stick the Tail on the Donkey. Here's the donkey. Looks like a cabbage. Or a duck. It's a donkey. Now, I will blindfold Nettle Elf and she'll try to stick this tail on the donkey. <laughs> Ow! She stung me again! It's a stupid game anyway. You need a big dragon to stick the tail on. Looks like the twins' party has started. Ah! 
Get rid of the dragon! All right. Just trying to liven the party up a bit. I'm putting the grown-ups' wands in the library too. Now for my conjuring show. Hooray! Queen Thistle, please take a card. <laughs> Don't show me. What is your card? Um, the Two of Hearts. Your card is the Two of Hearts. That's the worst trick I've ever seen. I thought it was rather good. How's it done? For my next trick, I will turn myself into a mouse. Ooh. You little ones need to wait behind this door for a moment. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousy, mousy! Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. We can still build sandcastles. Yes. <laughs> Bingo! No, don't start digging up the moon. You'll upset the aliens. <laughs> Look, the aliens love building sandcastles. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> I'm a bit hungry. Me too. Time for the picnic. No! Magic basket, please. Ah, magic! Nanny Palum, are you waving your magic wand around? I haven't got my wand, remember? It wasn't allowed on your silly elf mission. Ah, yes. Anyway, the magic picnic basket doesn't need a wand to work. You just ask it for what you want. Magic basket, please. Make us sandwiches with ham and cheese. Yippee! Hooray! And now for pudding. Magic jelly! Magic jelly! Uh, Nanny Plum, we don't want another jelly flood. Oh, it'll be fine. Nanny Plum, I want you to think very carefully about what you are doing. Whatever. Magic basket, please. Jelly jelly! What's it doing? Oh, no! I forgot to say, not a lot. Ah! Jelly blood! Nanny! That's too much jelly! Oh, dear. Yeah! What's happening? Yeah. Nanny Plum has flooded the Sea of Tranquility with jelly. <gasps> Nanny Plum! All the maps of the moon will have to be changed. The Sea of Tranquility is now the Sea of Jelly. Sorry. Sorry? The aliens will be very upset. But the aliens like the jelly. Foodie, foodie. Yes. And a drink. <laughs> Aww. That should make Pippin feel at home. <laughs> ah! Why is the courtyard full of straw? It's for your hamster, Your Majesty. My hamster? <laughs> It's funny. The courtyard looks just like a hamster cage. Yes, very amusing. Why does it have to run about so much? Hamsters like running about. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. Hi, Hot Buff. Oh, no. Pippin's run away. Oh, um, how sad. How terribly sad. Pippin, Pippin. We've lost Pippin! What a dreadful turn of events. Pippin's gone. Gone forever. Wait, King Thistle. I can get your hamster back. Ah, uh, don't trouble yourself, Ben. It's no trouble. 
elves are good at rounding up hamsters, and I'm an elf. <coughs> Ready, Gaston? <coughs> 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 Pippin's back, King Thistle. Safe and sound. Ah, uh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Let's close the cage door before Pippin escapes again. <laughs> Does it ever go to sleep? Uh, maybe when it's tired. And how do we make it tired? Let's ask the wise old elf. He knows everything. Hello? Wise old elf speaking. How do you make a hamster tired? Hamster? Oof. The king's pet hamster. We need to make it tired. Ah, I see. What you need is a wheel. A wheel? 